Good morning, Coleman, and thank you for tuning in to Coleman Today. I'm your host, Dustin Isom, and today is Friday, September 6th. We have a lot to look at in local news today, including information on the suspect of a recent carjacking, recognitions from Coleman Fire and Rescue, and this weekend's Bernard Blues and Barbecue. All of this plus sports, weather, and more, but for now, let's dive into the top stories happening in Coleman today. The Coleman County Sheriff's Office and the Coleman County District Attorney's Office held a press conference on Tuesday to discuss a shooting and carjacking incident that took place on Sunday, September 1st, in Coleman. The incident resulted in injuries to both the victim and the shooter. Coleman County Sheriff Matt Gentry and Coleman County District Attorney Champ Crocker revealed that the event began when a 36-year-old veteran, who remains unnamed, was stabbed by a suspect during an attempted purchase of a trailer via an online marketplace. This confrontation escalated into a shooting and carjacking. Sheriff Gentry explained that law enforcement apprehended the suspect shortly afterward in the victim's truck. The victim was discovered shot and lying on a county road by a good Samaritan who was able to identify the suspect in his vehicle, aiding in the quick arrest. Gentry identified the perpetrator as Abel Madaro Sakreb Chin, a 21-year-old illegal alien from Guatemala. Sakreb Chin is being charged with robbery in the first degree. Next up, St. Bernard Prep School was set to host the 8th Annual Bernard Blues and Barbecue Arts and Crafts Festival this weekend. The event will take place on Saturday and Sunday, September 7 and 8th, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day, on the grounds of St. Bernard Abbey and Prep School. Organizers promise an unforgettable weekend of mouth-watering barbecue, artisanal crafts, and soul-stirring blues music. The festival aims to bring the community together for a lively and enjoyable celebration. A requested admission donation of $10 is asked for attendees, while children aged 12 and under can enter for free. Pets are not allowed at the event. St. Bernard is located at 1600 St. Bernard Drive, Southeast in Coleman. And to finish out our top stories, the Coleman Republican Party will host its monthly breakfast tomorrow at the VFW Post 2213. Doors will open at 7.30 a.m. with the meeting starting at 8. Alabama Representative Randall Shedd will be addressing the gathering, discussing the current political climate in the country, state, and county, as well as the party's future plans. Now that we have the top stories out of the way, we're going to take a quick break. But stick around, because when we come back, we'll be gearing up for tonight's thrilling lineup of high school football action. Get ready to hear about all of the teams and their matchups taking the field this evening right after the break. What's in the magazine? October's peeking in. October fest in Coleman, let the fun begin. Heroes in our town, business all around. Recipes for sharing, joy everywhere found. Colonel Coleman cheers, history in our ears. Community so bright, polka through the night. Sports spotlight today, kids come out to play. Fields and courts are buzzing in the autumn's way. Germans came to stay, crafts and brews on display. Coleman's heart is glowing in the polka way. Colonel Coleman cheers, history in our ears. Community so bright, polka through the night. Hello and welcome back. Now it's time to find out what's going on in the world of sports. In today's sports segment, let's take a look at each of the local football matchups set to kick off tonight. After defeating Mortimer Jordan last week, the Coleman Bearcats will be back home tonight for a region game against Athens. The Eagles edged the Bearcats 34-28 last season, so Coleman will be anxious to bounce back with a win at Oliver Woodard Stadium. Fairview opened the season with a 41-17 win at Springville last week, and the Aggies will host their rivals from West Point and their home opener tonight. Fairview is looking to start the season 2-0, while the Warriors aim to get back in the win column after falling to Good Hope last week. The Good Hope Raiders will host Fultondale tonight for a big regional battle. After falling to the Wildcats 35-7 a season ago, 
Good Hope plans to bounce back with a win and improve 2-0. Hansville will be on the road for a region game at Gordo tonight. After dropping their first two matchups to Cold Springs and Holly Pond, the Bulldogs face a tough challenge against the Green Wave. Hansville will need its best performance of the season to return home with a win. The Vinemont Eagles are 2-0 for the first time since 2013 and will look to extend their win streak at Phil Campbell tonight. The Bobcats are coming off a loss to Hamilton, so if the Eagles continue to play well in defense, they have a chance to return home 3-0. Holly Pond will be on the road looking to improve to 2-1 with a win at Sylvania. The Broncos are coming off an explosive offensive performance against Hansville, and if they can maintain that momentum, they'll have a great chance to knock off the Rams. Cold Springs has started the season with back-to-back -back road wins and will host Susan Moore tonight in their home opener. The Bulldogs are coming off back-to-back -back losses, so if the Eagles continue to run the ball effectively, they'll be in a great position to improve to 3-0. Addison bounced back from its season opening loss to Winston County with a 36-20 win over Decatur Heritage last week. The Bulldogs will now aim to build on that performance with a region win over Shoals Christian tonight. After suffering a home loss to Winston County last week, the Meek Tigers will be back on the road tonight. The Tigers are still looking for their first win and will need a stellar game to topple Hackleburg on the road. That covers sports for today, but make sure to check with the Coleman Tribune each day for the latest in sports coverage from across the area. We'll be right back after this message. Hello and welcome back to Coleman Today. Now it's time to speed things up with a news rundown. Four stories in under four minutes. Congratulations to the Coleman Fire Rescue Firefighters on their recent achievements. Lieutenant Adam Taylor has been promoted to captain and Lieutenant Matt Laminick recently marked 10 years of service. We are proud to have you serving our community and thankful for all you do to protect Coleman. The Coleman Commission on Aging is now accepting reservations for its 2024 Senior Christmas Party. This year's event will take place at Wallace State Community College in the Tom Drake Traditions Bank Arena, offering more seating capacity for attendees to enjoy the festivities and fellowship. By making a reservation, you will receive a Fast Pass ticket that can be picked up from the Coleman Commission on Aging office. Reserved ticket holders will be able to skip the line on the day of the event. To reserve your seat, call the Commission on Aging at 256-734-1241. Join the Coleman Area Chamber of Commerce for a spectacular evening at Trick or Treat with the Chamber. This family-friendly event invites children of all ages to dress up in their favorite costumes and enjoy a safe and fun trick-or-treating experience with local businesses handing out candy. This is a free community event. Pick up your candy bag and participant list at the Coleman Chamber on Friday, October 25th from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Trick-or-treating will take place on Saturday, October 26th from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. at locally participating businesses. Registration at Seed Harvest Music Academy is open for classes for the 2024 to 2025 school year. Classes are an excellent way for children to get started in general music or on an instrument. They offer numerous benefits, including social interaction, teamwork, and the development of both micro and macro motor skills. Additionally, students will learn general music concepts such as vocal, rhythmic, and ear training. This year, classes include seedlings, ages 3 to 5, sprouts, ages 6 to 9, and world percussion, ages 10 to 13. Classes will meet on Tuesdays, seedlings from 4 until 4.30 p.m., sprouts from 4.30 until 5 p.m., and world percussion from 5.30 until 6 p.m. If you're interested in getting your child involved in music, contact Seed Harvest today through Facebook Messenger or text 256 339-9131. Now for a quick break before we look at the weather ahead and pay our respects with obituaries. I'll be right back after this quick message.
Welcome back. Let's take a moment to pause and remember those who have lost their lives this week as we turn to obituaries. Brittany Nicole Bassinger. Brittany Nicole Bassinger, 34 of Coleman, passed away September 5th at UAB Hospital in Birmingham. The family will hold a memorial service at a later date. Carol Burgess Nail. Carol Burgess Nail, 68 of Good Hope, passed away on Tuesday, September 3rd at home surrounded by her loved ones. Ms. Nail will be laid to rest Sunday, September 8th at a graveside service with family and friends. That finishes up obituaries for today. Our thoughts and prayers go out to their friends and families. Now, let's take a look at the weekend weather forecast. Today, we have a 30% chance of showers, mainly between 2 and 4 p.m. It's going to be mostly cloudy with a high near 80. Tonight, there's a slight 10% chance of showers before 7 p.m. It will start off cloudy, then gradually become partly cloudy with a low of around 61. Tomorrow, enjoy sunny skies with a high near 81. Tomorrow night, expect mostly clear skies with a low of around 52. Sunday brings another sunny day with a high near 83. Sunday night will be mostly clear with a low of around 56. That concludes another edition of Coleman Today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back bright and early Monday morning at 6.30 a.m. But for now, I'm Dustin Isom with Coleman Today, wishing you a wonderful weekend, Coleman.